Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Let's just get you in the right place. Excuse the hair situation, it's a trust the process. If you stick around, I will show you what it's gonna hopefully look like after. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all okay and welcome back to another weekly vlog. The only thing is, is it's quite hard to do makeup with this thing on. I might have to actually take this off sooner than I thought. I thought. Um, anyway, I'm getting ready to do some shooting at home this morning and then this afternoon I am heading off somewhere because tomorrow we are doing a big studio shoot. So if you follow me over on Instagram you would have seen a little, I was going to use the word sneak peek but actually that sentence I find so cringe, um, a little sneaky preview of something that we are working on behind the scenes. By the way, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, you know I've been using this for years. Well, recently I've been applying it with my hands. Like, I really like it with the hands. Um, again, trust the process, let me just blend this out. Um, yeah, this is really hard to talk about without like dropping any clues or saying too much, but basically we're working on something really exciting that is going to be launching in April. So it all will be revealed really soon. We're doing a studio shoot for it. So we're leaving this afternoon ready for tomorrow. The only thing with putting on the CC cream with your hands is you get really messy, so you have to wash them straight away. I know it's not fully blended in, but that's where, one sec, my damp beauty blender comes in. So as I'm blending in my concealer, um, I just go over all of my face as well. Excuse this washing in the background here. Just getting the bed sheets done. So when I get back, I can put clean bed sheets on. It's always such a good feeling, isn't it? This thing is really gonna get in my way. Um, anyway, so yeah, there'll be hair and makeup on set tomorrow, um, but I do just like to go with clean hair so then we can just style it when I get there. I haven't got to worry about like blow drying it or anything just to save a bit of time. I think I showed you this cardigan in last week's vlog, but I've been wearing it so much. I love it. I'm really loving navy at the moment. For my fellow uh, greasy hair gals, I wash my hair once to twice a week because my hair's quite thick and it takes a long time to blow dry and style. And I just actually even don't want to do it any more than that. So by the time it gets around to washing it, it is filthy, like it's disgusting and it's so greasy so I'm so I'm always looking for deep cleansing uh, shampoos and something to, that is going to make my scalp feel so clean because so many shampoos you just don't get that squeaky feeling and that's what I absolutely love and last week um, I went away with Panasonic who have been working with on their hair tools that are so good I am really really impressed um, there's a scalp mode on the hairdryer, which I'll try and show you in this video or next video because I've dried my hair now. Um, but that's so good for um, keeping it cool on the scalp because, sorry, I'm not explaining this well. What is going on with my brain today? But when I was away with Panasonic last week, there was a trichologist there and she had a look at my scalp and she said it was fine. On my scalp, in each follicle, and that's where the hair comes out of, some of my follicles have two hairs coming out of and on each hair strand there's a sebaceous gland and that is what releases the oil to moisturize the scalp so that's why my hair does get quite greasy because i've got a lot of hair so i've got more sebaceous glands um, it's really interesting actually and she said about using a salicylic acid on my scalp which i actually have used used before but i had run out i just get one off amazon it's from a brand called the inky list I think it's £10 and it's just like a solution that you put on your hair before washing it and it just helps to really like it just removes any excess um like just excess oil on your hair just to give you the deepest clean. Sorry that's really hard to multitask and do that and my hair feels so clean this morning. It's not something I'm going to use all the time. As I said I wash my hair once or twice a week so maybe if I use it like every other week or every third week I feel I've run out of my favourite eyebrow pencil. It's the Kosas one. I've actually never used anything from that brand before until I used that and it's the thinnest pencil ever and it just comes out so well. This is really nice. This is a beauty pie one. It's a lot thicker though, but I use this one because the color match to my skin is so good. But you don't get those fine strands. 
I've actually got the NYX pencil. So this is the NYX one. I think I bought this from ASOS, it was really cheap. Can you see that super fine nib? I really want to go to an eyebrow professional. I don't even know what that means, but I just want to go and someone to tell me exactly how to do my brows. Because when I have them laminated, it gives them such a good shape and I feel like I can follow that shape. I wish I could have my brows tinted, but I am allergic to the tints. I can't do that. I never used to be a powder girly. I always used to leave my makeup super dewy, but sometimes it does need toning down just a little bit. But I still want to keep the dew. So my little tip is this powder, the Rodeal Glass Powder. It is so good. I've had this mini one. This is just the mini size. There's so much in there still. I only use a tiny little bit. I put a little bit in the lid and use a small brush like this and really like get it all onto the brush and then tap it off. And then you're just left with a really like fine light layer. And you see that it's still like glowy on my cheek, but it's just kind of matted down this area. I'm still obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury, the beauty light ones. Just add a little bit on the cheek just for extra glow. So now it's the moment of truth with my hair. I have done this once and it came out quite good. So I hope it has again today. So basically this is a heatless curler. This little bun thing just keeps it in place. My hair isn't long enough to do this all over. I can only really do it on this front bit. This. And then unroll. Yeah, it's got some shape in it. If only I could do that all over my hair. It's just given a bit of body and shape to it because I just did a very like smooth and sleek blow dry, but I don't like it too sleek at the front. So this is what it is. It's a roller with two little poppers. So if you had longer hair, I guess you can put more, roll it up and then tie it around and then put that on. I've seen people do like the underneath of their hair and then the top, but mine's like just too thick and short to be able to do it. I blow dried it smooth and then whilst it was still warm from the hairdryer, I did it in this. So as it set, it set around that. Before I forget, this is the salicylic acid treatment. So it's really watery, listen. It's super watery. I've tried some that are quite thick and it's quite hard to get an even distribution all over your scalp. But this has a little nozzle, you undo it. And then I'm gonna do it up to show you because I don't want it on my hair now, but I just basically run it through my scalp like that. And then you just massage it into your scalp, leave it on for like 10 minutes. Um, so it's really good for oily, itchy, flaky scalps. Um, it was only 10 pound. And I'd say I'd probably get like four goes out of that. Me again, bed sheets are still here. Um, I got these ages ago. I got them last year, maybe even in like summer last year, and I just haven't worn them that much. I definitely showed them on here. I remember showing them on the vlog. They are these cute little hair clips. We were just talking about hair. My hair is short and thick, which makes putting it up in clips like that quite hard. However, I found a few little hair hacks of how to put them up in these nice little clips. Like I can do a half up, half down quite easy with a small clip. But if I want to do all of my hair, it's quite hard. And I've done a few little hair ideas. And what you need are these. These give me a lot of nostalgia um, because I used to plait my hair all the time with these. They're just those little clear elastics. I got them from Amazon, you know, those tiny little clear bands. And I feel like a pack like this would literally last you a lifetime. I don't even know how many are in there. There's a lot. Um, and I think it was like a couple of pounds. Um, so yeah, these little clear elastics are what is going to make it so much easier to put your hair up. So I'm gonna leave you with a few hairstyling ideas.
10 30. Come on in your bed. Should we show everybody your new haircut? Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Let's have a little look at you. Oh, you're all smart. We should have done a little before and after. Poor. Good boy. Now, would you like a chew? Come on then. Take me to the chew cupboard. Come on then. Lily's kitchen are his favourite chews. I've got two different flavours. <laughs> Should we give him the choice? Sit down. Good boy. Uh -uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello my loves, I am just making a coffee. Now I wouldn't usually be making a coffee at this time. It is, it's 1.30. Maybe I would actually be making a coffee at this time, but this granny is going to a gala tonight. So we need to spruce this up. I'm wearing the tracksuit that I've worn for two days in a row and I haven't got bra or knickers on. I haven't even brushed my hair today. I've just been doing lots of like bitty jobs at home. Just like, I don't know, just the boring stuff. For the last two days, I've been away, um, away from home, because I've been on the big, exciting shoot that I was telling you about earlier in the vlog. So, um, sometimes Tom likes to keep the house nice and tidy while I'm away, and sometimes he doesn't, and this time he chose not to. So I just needed to, like, do some washing. I don't need to list out the boring chores, you know what I mean. Um, so... I've done that now. I'm gonna have a shower and start getting ready because yeah, as I said, I'm going to a gala. I was stressed on what to wear because as you probably know by now, I'm not much for going out girly. So when it comes to dressing up, I don't really know what it is that I like. And it's actually cold. I don't wanna be cold. I've actually got a really nice, it's like high neck, long sleeved, maxi length. It's quite slinky. It's actually really nice. It's quite a simple dress. I'm going to dress it up with some accessories. I've just put clean bedding on the bed and I could so just have a shower and get in them. But it will be good for me to get out. I'm having a coffee to give me a little perk up. I actually haven't had a coffee in a few days. I've been trying not to have too much caffeine. I am going to have a shower. I want to look at these bags before I get in the shower. So I thought I'd quickly show you the dress. So this is it, it's like a very pale blue, um, like satin. It's just a maxi plain dress. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to put that on. And on the sleeves as well, it's got these gorgeous slits. It's super simple, but I think it's really elegant. I'm going to dress it up with some accessories. Okay, so shoes I'm thinking of wearing are these. I don't have many pairs of heels because as I said, I don't really go out. There's just no need for me to have heels and I don't love wearing heels. Sometimes I do. But these gold ones I've worn so much and as heels go, these are pretty comfy. Like they've got a nice block heel and this bit is like quite padded. These are actually from River Island, but on very last year. And they're so nice. I'm going to go with gold, like quite big gold accessories because the dress is so simple. So these are the shoes. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with my hair yet. I'm not going to wash it, but I won't be wearing a necklace because of the neckline. So from ASOS, I ordered, oh, they've come in a little box, a selection of big earrings. There's one particular, oh, these are so nice. These are the ones that, that I did order some more as like backup, but these are the ones I thought, yes, I like these. I think they look so much more expensive than they are. You can't return them once I've opened this bag. So I'm gonna open the bag and hope that these are the ones. These are so nice. Now these won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I think these are so nice. They are like a big hammered, flower with a little pearl in. I thought though as well, like on holiday, when I go on holiday, can't be bothered to do my hair. So I usually put my hair up. So imagine like having a tan, having like your golden glowy um, makeup, hair up, big earrings. They are so nice. I don't even think they were 10 pounds. They might've been like eight pounds. They are so nice. Okay, I'm really happy with those. I will show you the other ones that I ordered, but I'm I'm happy with those. Okay, so these ones, these are also really nice. ASOS, oh, these are Topshop actually, but ASOS have some really nice earrings. They are really nice, but no, not what I'm going for today. And then these ones are also really nice. They're like a chunky, uh, like a really chunky stud. 
really nice, but I've actually got quite a lot similar to that. Hi Bertie. I've ordered two bags. I've ordered one from Ego, which to be honest, isn't usually a place I'd shop at because I'm just not 100% sure on the quality. But when I started Googling gold bag, this came up. I thought that looks really nice. And I thought it's got quite like a designery feel to it. It's quite nice. I'm thinking it might be too much, okay? It is really nice though, actually, isn't it? And do you know what? That feels really nice. How satisfying is that? That is actually some, like nice soft. I know it's, can you hear this? Like it is, but it's quite soft. Can you see? It's not like plasticky. That's what I thought it might be like, quite plasticky, but it's not. But that is actually quite nice. But I was worried it might be too big. I feel like we need to decide when the dress is on, but I just wanted to have a look at them. And then how, the only thing I'm gonna say is it is a bit of a maze, because if you look here, you have to sort of dig into the straps to like find the opening. That is really nice though. Okay, so there's option one. I have got a gold bag, that little coach one that I use all the time. And that gold bag is like my occasion bag. So any evening events, any weddings, I'm always wearing that. So I thought, I wanna change it up a little bit. And I don't go out that much, as I said, but it is nice to have a couple of nice occasion pieces. Anyway, I saw this bag on Selfridges and I thought, that's really nice. Obviously it's a bit pricier than the other ones, but I thought, I just want to see what it's like. Oh my gosh, look how satisfying that is when your fingers like sit into it. That is stunning. And I thought again, holiday clutch bag or any occasions. Let's have a little look at what's what's inside for us. So, oh, do you know what I love? It's like the detail, the branding here. That is really nice. Again, I mean, these bags, what am I expecting them to fit my laptop in? But again, it's not huge. It comes with a little dust bag. But let's do the phone check. Okay, that fits much easier. I've got the big phone and there's quite a lot of space around it. So these are my bag options. They're both really nice, aren't they? This squeaking is actually really annoying me. <laughs> anyway, I better get ready because I know because I'm already rambling. I need to get ready and I want to film some things before I go. I'm out of the shower. I thought, let's do skincare. Is anybody else like this? Where you think, I'm going to do my makeup really different today, and then it looks exactly the same. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to try and do today. It's the afternoon, and this makeup needs to last all night. I think there could be quite a lot of photos, and I want, like, it's a gala. I want it to look nice. I want it to be a bit more than my everyday makeup. But I really believe that a good face of makeup always starts with like good preparation so I want to use like all my hydrating skincare where my skin is dry and not hydrated for example like around my eye here makeup starts sitting in so you want to keep your skin as hydrated as possible um right I'm actually going to do eye cream first the Kiehl's I've spoken about this loads the Kiehl's creamy eye avocado if you've got more drier skin um or prone to, or if you've got some fine lines and things, try this. I just love it so much. I'm gonna show you up close. It's quite a thick eye cream. Can you see it's like green? But what I do is I just put a bit on like that, tap it in and let it soak in. But that all just like really hydrates the area. So when you put on your foundation and concealer, it just goes on so much nicer. I really want to go into Kiehl's and ask, but this does not sit well on wet skin. You have to put it on dry skin because usually I put all of my skincare on wet skin. I feel like I'm going deep into skincare, but I've had quite a lot of questions recently. That sounds so cringe and like awful, but honestly, when I've been doing my Q and A's recently, I've had quite a lot of questions about what skincare are you using? And when I've answered, people have asked more questions. So. I just wanted to show you what I'm using. I love a hydrating mist. I think hydrating mist, add, actually, hang on, can't talk while I'm doing it because I'll get a mouthful of it. But putting your serum on damp skin it soaks in better and it keeps your skin more hydrated. I love the Elemis Superfood Facial Mist. I'm going to use the Elizabeth Arden, the capsules, the hyaluronic acid ones have been my favorite for years. These little things are biodegradable as well. This is so hydrating and it feels like it makes your skin feel so smooth. It's really nice. 
base for under your makeup. I have quite a lot of different moisturizers on the go because my skin changes day to day and sometimes I'm wearing makeup, sometimes I'm not. Um, so this is one that I've got at the moment. I really like it. It's the Lancome Regenery. It's quite a thick consistency, but it's so hydrating, but it doesn't actually leave your skin oily or greasy or anything like that. My skin isn't overly dry. I've actually got quite an oily T-zone, um, but I just like to get as much moisture on my skin as possible. I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes while I get my makeup out. Not really a gala girly, I'm more of a sofa girly. And I've already got a rash come up on my neck, so we're not off to a good start. And I'm one of those girls that allows extra time to do my makeup nicely and differently, but it always ends up looking the same. I've already done my brows like the professionals tell me to do. And the thing I find hard about doing brows first, and please help me leave a comment if you've got any tips, then doing my foundation around the brows, you just have to be a bit more careful, I guess, rather than the slapdash that I usually am. So I hear that the concealer is all in the placement. And to be honest, to be really honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. I watch the TikTok girlies and I think this is what we're doing. We're lifting the eye. We're lifting here. I'm going to be 33 soon, so everything needs to be lifted. Oh my God. I feel like we need a tissue. I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones and contour sticks, but the design is quite messy. Something you need to know about me, I will not be the last one at an evening event. I will be the first one probably to be going home. I struggle with evening dressing because I'm quite a, I'm more of a casual daytime girly. And when it comes to the evening, I don't really know what it is that I like to wear. These are Money Eye Tints. This is shade 22. Nick doing eyeshadow, so easy. This is the most beautiful blush. I just want to emphasize the cheeks a little bit more. I haven't tried this color before, but it looks so nice. I want to add a glossy balm on top. Which color? I think I'm gonna go for this. I have not had my lips done, but I feel like the mix of the lip liner and the gloss from this just makes them look so much more plump. Okay, gala makeup is done. Flapjacks, and this is what I mean by why things take so long because yeah, you won't get a full eight inches. Just, just so cut you, it up. You don't need to like, measure them. One slice is going to be about a quarter of an inch smaller than the others. That can be your oh slice. My God. Just do them roughly, Tom. They're not for. They're just for us. Not rough. This is Great British Bake Off style. Right? <laughs> so uh -huh. he's made some nice flapjacks, and then are you just dipping half? of a flapjack, like half of it into the chocolate yes, with some salt results. sprinkled. Mm. But we've got some very precise Not until cutting. Then will you get to taste I'm, it. It's, this smells so good and I'm so hungry. I just really want a little square, but I'm not allowed one. I don't mind the end bits. That's like all I wanted. Those nice little crispy bits. I'm going for it. No, wait, wait, no. I should be the first one to try it. Mmm. Yeah, it's, that's nice. Buttery. It could be. Like buttery golden syrupy. Was there a lot of butter in there? Mmm. 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 Actually, that does better. It's getting better. I picked up some fresh eucalyptus from my local florist. They sell it just in bunches like this on their own, which I absolutely love. It smells so nice. It's so fresh. And I've always loved having just big bunches of eucalyptus i love it on its own it smells amazing and i think it's just really nice it's in water at the moment and i trimmed the edges so 
it will last as long as possible. Let the water run out basically and let this dry out. I'll then keep it for about six months or even longer. Um, that's how I always do my dried eucalyptus. I've also just popped on a candle. This is one from Espar. It's in this gorgeous marble pot. It also has this beautiful lid um, when the candle is not on. It's so lovely and it smells just like a spa. That and the eucalyptus, I feel like the senses I'm getting now are very relaxing and spa-like. Just for reality, that corner is giving spa. The rest is giving messy, non-spa vibes. Let me come to the tidy corner. Um, it is Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> I've got a bit of flapjack stuck in my throat. I've just finished filming a campaign, so it's good to get that shot. And then this afternoon, oh, hi Bertie. Is there space for you on the bed? Um, this evening we are going out for dinner because it is my brother's, my brother and his girlfriend's birthday very soon. So we are going out for dinner. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. We're going to this really nice, um, Greek tapas meze style restaurant. It's in Berkhamsted. If you are in Hertfordshire, you'll probably know Berko. It is so nice. They've got, they've got some gorgeous restaurants there and that the olive tree is one of our favorites. So we're going there. I've got two new accessories to show you this week. This bag has been on my wish list and I've been on the wait list for this bag for a good few months. It's a pollen bag and this one is called Cyme. It's C-Y-M-E. This is the mini version. They do do a bigger one. I don't know if I should have got the bigger one. It does fit my laptop in. Um, it's just so beautiful and you know how much I love their bags. And honestly, the quality and the design of them is so beautiful. The prices range from about 300 to about 450. Honestly, the quality and the detail is so beautiful. Like everything is just perfect. It's got two shorter handles so you could hold it like that. And then it's got two longer handles, so you can wear it like that. And I just wanted a bit of a bigger everyday bag that I could just chuck loads of stuff in. And I thought this is going to be so nice. I'm just envisioning this bag with a pair of tan sandals, a nice little springy outfit, and the bag. It's also got a little magnet here. So if you wanted to do it up, you can do it up. But if you wanted a bit more space and open, you can have it like that. And then inside is actually a little pouch. You can detach this, but this is really nice to pop like keys or I, I don't know, any little bits that, because sometimes in a bigger bag, you lose those little things. So it's so nice to have that in there as well. I went to link this for my Instagram stories the other day and it's back on like wait list. But if you just add your email to sign up, you'll be notified as soon as it is back in stock. And I'm sure they will be restocking it because this has been so popular. And then I've got a little Amazon dupe order. I actually haven't opened this. So I don't know what this is going to be like. I haven't got any thinner belts. All my belts are like fairly chunky. And I just wanted to... Oh my God, this is actually really nice. I don't know what I was expecting. Basically, it's the Hermes dupe. Isn't that so nice? That looks really nice. But I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I was wondering what was going on. But you just pull it. Okay, that's cool. Let's. I've actually got jeans on, so let's try it now. What? Oh, no, me jump. I'm filming. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna. So here is the belt, and then to adjust it, I think you just like pull that. Oh, that's so satisfying. Hermes. It's not Hermes, like the delivery company. It's Hermes, Tom. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't get all of the plastic bits off. I feel like I need to cut them off, but you get the gist. So it goes like that and then you twist it. I'm really happy with that. I think this was £20. They do it in black and cream and like other colours as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd wear it with more of my like feminine trousers. I wouldn't wear it with these like wide leg baggy jeans. It's not the right vibe. Sometimes I think if you are thinking about buying a designer item um, and you're not 100% sure, if you can find um, like a dupe or very similar 
alternative that isn't going to cost loads of money, I think it's a nice way to play around with it to see if it's something that works with your wardrobe or if you just want the look for less. So I'm actually very chuffed with my £20 belt. I've been working most of today. I was editing this vlog this morning, ready to go live tomorrow, and then I have been filming this afternoon. So I do want a day off tomorrow. So I'm going to tidy the house now so that when we come back later, I can just relax and tomorrow it's Mother's Day, I can relax in the morning, then I'm seeing my mum in the afternoon. So then I've got an hour and a half until we leave. I need to decide what I'm wearing, have a good old tidy up. But in the morning, I will just need to finish off editing this vlog so it can go live tomorrow. There's washing everywhere in our house, but I can hear the shaver. I can hear the shaver. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen those things? They go, they stick on the mirror and it's like a bib, so it catches all your beard hairs. But look, it gets all stuck in your sock. You do love to leave a pile of beard hair. Yeah.